in a quick filter recap, we learned on the last video that this chrome air cleaner top and one inch drop base performs better than this open top air cleaner lid. I'm calling it a power lid because this is what Summit markets it under. Even with the media removed, something is off by the small mesh. The 14x3 air filter in this test is provided by a racing power company, or RPC. This is a carrier base that was on the open top air filter on my car. And I put it on there originally because I thought it would work better. But as you can see, the whole size is pretty small and it performed very poorly on the flow bench. We're going to hole saw some larger holes in it and see if we can fix it. There's only two bolts and a fancy cap that hold the media to the base lid. It is interesting in how easy the media comes off the lid. There is no glue or sealer around the edges that block off potential dirty air from going around the filter. We got the hole saws out to trace out a pattern in the mesh. I wanted to leave enough material to be able to utilize the center hold down cap. This whole exercise is an attempt to try to understand what the problem is with this style lid. We're going to find out if the mesh is as big of an issue as we think. I went ahead and knocked the jagged edges off with a flat disc. It looks functional enough to still hold the paper media, which was the other factor. So this uh, filter is all back together. Did some modifications on the back side. Maybe it'll work. We're going to take it to the flow bench and see if it does anything. With it all assembled and back on the bench, we had marginal gains. About 4 CFM less restriction. It started to make some sense now. The next step, we ran it again without the media. We got back about 19 CFM from the media being removed and 13 CFM from just making the holes larger in the mesh. Both restrictions work together, but the biggest gain in our case is just removing the media. So this filter carrier with this media is about the same as a closed top. Now we might be able to say that this is, this is actually a little bit better, but it's within one or two CFM. We believe this, this media here is very restrictive. Um, I started looking at it a little bit more. It's not. Uh, might not be made out of cotton. To give everyone a better perspective, this filter, it's been on my car for years. There's little little bugs, little pieces of dirt. This top filter has been also been on my car for years. And there's really nothing in it. So that tells me that the air is flowing through the, the sides and not through the top. Here's a test summary. All the numbers are subtracted off the flow rate of no air cleaner. The power lid is just not a good buy if you want to flow a lot of air. We're not even trying to flow a lot on this bench being limited to 600 CFM. The differences will grow at a higher flow rate. The chrome top and base combo uh, was purchased under the Summit brand and is a very good value. You'd expect to have a large increase in flow with an open top filter, but that's just not the case here. The only instance we saw again with this lid is if you had a really bad flowing uh, 14 by 3 paper filter, like the one shown here. If you enjoyed this rabbit hole of information, please subscribe. I'm getting a lot of hours of watch time and I hope to keep it going. Thank you for watching.